Hi everyone! So, oh my gosh, my voice is so raspy. So, I just got done doing this amazing training with Life on Fire and it um, was the abundance one and we did so many different things where that's why my voice is so raspy right now. So, hi Amy! And so, just, you gotta excuse my voice. So, if anyone saw my Facebook Live Yesterday, I was being interviewed. We were at a very big time crunch, and so we only had like four minutes before we had to go back. And in that time crunch, we were interviewing me, and I wanted to tell more people about what I do. I do rapid transformational therapy and how I can um, offer it and how I'm offering a free session right now. So, oh, thank you guys for all your loves and likes. I think that means you can hear me, so that's good. My voice sounds like that, but I'm sick. Oh, I should say that I'm sick. No. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, that's just how my voice is. But it's for me, it's a good cause because I did a lot of screaming and a lot of transforming and a lot of just uh, moving and shaking this weekend, so I'm really excited. But, uh, so, hi, Albert. So, I wanted to... Before, oops, before I tell you what, um, what RTT is and how you can win it, I, I always want to come on here and give you guys just a little nugget of information, just something that either I've gone through or something that happened or something that I think just everyone can learn from. So, and I was thinking about it today and... I, right now, I still run group therapy. So I run group therapy for adults with mood disorders and addictions. And we watched a movie today all about addictions and how it affects our brain. And I had a client ask me about, well, is how, about how, oh, well, when are we predisposed to depression? What, what does that look like in, when we're predisposed to depression? Are we always going to be depressed? And I looked right at her and I said, tell me, have you ever seen a depressed baby? And I just waited and she sat there and she thought about it and everyone else in the group thought about it. And then she said no. And we all just started laughing because no one has ever seen a depressed baby. And if you're watching this right now, and if you have, you can write in the comments and tell me, if, if you have seen a depressed baby, like please write in the comments and tell me what that looks like, because I have no idea what that looks like. Hi, Gretchen. So, and go, going off of depression too, I think, and this is just my opinion, I'm not a doctor or anything, but I think we, we have depression wrong. You know, we say that depression is when you're stuck in bed and when you've been crying the whole time. And no, like if you're crying, you're actually letting yourself have real emotions and you're actually dealing with what's going on right now. So depression is actually more like numbing yourself. And you're, you're not even allowed to have any emotions because you're just completely numbing and escaping from having emotions because... A lot of us weren't taught how to have emotions. Now, I also want to talk about how we, um, how so many people think that, well, okay, if I, if my family has depression, hi mom, so <laughs> if my family has depression and if, or anxiety, then I was, um, I was born with it. No, you weren't born with it. There's not one baby that is born with depression, that is born with anxiety. That's just not, not what happens. Now, if you come from a family that if, if your mom or dad or someone had anxiety or depression and you saw it, then yeah, yeah, you're going to be predisposed to depression because it happened in your family. It wasn't because it was, you were born with it. And that, that's where I hate the word. I hate the term when we tell people that, oh, you have a chemical imbalance. Your brain is chemically imbalanced. Who, who wants to hear that? I'm sorry, but if, if I was told that I have, my brain was chemically imbalanced and I, I would know how to balance it. And 
That's where people describe antidepressants and all that thing to balance it. But what if it's just because we weren't taught how to have emotions? That's why our brain is imbalanced because we don't know how to let ourselves cry, how to let ourselves get angry. We were never taught that. So that was just one thing that came up today that I wanted to share with everyone because we're not born with depression. We're not born with anxiety. This is something that we learn. This is something that we were modeled. And now, now I want to help you with that because you're, you're not like we're, it's, it feels like we're doomed. Like if someone tells you, oh, you have depression, it runs in your family. And then if you want to have a baby, then you think, oh my gosh, my baby's doomed because depression runs in my family. Yeah, I'm such a preacher, Gil. I swear, when I get passionate about something, I, I preach. That's why I have my little notes here to keep me on track because I can just go off. So, so here's the thing is we're not born like that. So, so here's what we do. Instead of feeling like we're doomed and there's nothing, we're always going to be depressed. We're always going to be anxious. That's not true. Here's the thing. Our brain learns by the pictures that we make in our head and the words that we say to ourselves. So if we say, if we have a doctor, if we have someone in health, if we have someone saying you have a chemical imbalance, then we have no control over our life. Well, oh, okay, my brain's always going to be chemically imbalanced. That's not true. We can change those pictures. We can change the words that we say to ourselves. So you don't have to say that I am depressed or, you know, I have a chemical imbalance. Like, no, you don't. You just have to change the thoughts that you say to yourself. You just have to change the pictures in your head. Another thing to think about, too, is you've all heard these stories about people that have cancer. And there's people that, you know, they find out they have cancer and they go on with their daily life like they don't have it. And then they watch happy movies and they talk to themselves like it's gone or they don't even have it. They don't even, like, recognize it. And then it goes away. So, so what's that? So here's my point. My point is we have a lot more control than we think we do. We are not doomed to whatever we say that we're predisposed from our family. We're not doomed to depression. We're not doomed to anxiety. We can change the way that we talk about ourselves in our head. So what about ADHD? Oh, don't get me started on that one. Uh, <laughs> so... Again, I'm not a doctor. This is just my own personal opinion, but most people, most kids that have that, they're not getting their needs met. They're not getting the attention that they need. And so their brains just kind of go in all over the place needing to get that nurturing and attention. And again, like I said, I'm not a doctor. I have my own opinions on a lot of different things. My my brand name is No BS Therapist because I'm very opinionated and I, I have my own beliefs about things. So that's just how I feel about it. There's many other ways that I think about ADHD, but I don't want to concentrate on that. But I love that you asked that question, Gina. So that's the, that's the point. You're not doomed. You can change the way that you think about things. Law of attraction, manifestation, talk to yourself that you're happy. Oh, another thing, if you tell yourself that you're nervous or you have anxiety, if you tell yourself instead you're excited, then that is where um, it plays on the same brain chemicals. So if you say you're anxious or nervous, you change it to excited and it completely changes your body chemistry. So I just want you guys to know that. Yes, Gina, we will definitely <laughs> talk about that more. Hi, La! Javi! Oh my god, we end. Wow, I'm so glad that you're here. So yes, that, that's just my tidbit about we are not doomed to our circumstances, we're not doomed to our brain, we're not doomed to our childhood, we can change our story. It's not there's it's not doom. It's not doom and gloom. That's the main thing. So now the other thing I want to talk about is that this is what I do and this is what I'm so passionate about. So I think you guys have seen me talk about rapid transformational therapy. And what it is, is we talk about what your main thing is that you want to look at. So if you want to know, well, why have I always felt like I'm not good enough? So we talk about kind of how you feel about that, how life would look if you, you felt like you were good enough, how, how your body would be different, how your mind would be different, how your life would be different. So we talk about that. And then what we do is I put you into kind of like a deep meditation, a, a brain alpha state. And we go back 
and we regress to different scenes to where you bought that belief that you're not good enough. And then from there, I do some work with you around uh, getting rid of that belief and around different therapy techniques that I can use to help you be more aware of why you bought to that you bought that belief because we all are good enough we all are whole and complete and perfect so something happened to where you had to buy that belief so we do that and then what we do is i um while you're still in that deep alpha brain state then i um Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. Then I make you a meditation, a, a hypnosis. And so you're listening to the hypnosis. And what I'm doing is I'm taking away your old story, your old beliefs, and I'm implementing all of your new beliefs. So that's what I do with rapid transformational therapy. I absolutely love it. It's, it's completely transforming. Every single person I've done it for has had a breakthrough. And that's my next point is that right now, now I am giving away a free session of RTT. So for you to be able to win that free session, I need you to share this video on your page and then send me an email telling me that you shared it. So you can go to my website. It's no BS therapist. No, it's not. <laughs> That's my email. And so my website is no BS therapy.com. And at the bottom of my page, you can fill out a contact form and or you can uh, just send me an email at nobstherapist at gmail.com. So go ahead, share this. Uh, you can share it until Thursday night. I'm going to pick a winner on Friday morning. And if you want to figure out how to release those limited beliefs, let me know. Send me a message here. Send me an email. Let's talk. I want to get you on the phone so we can figure out if we can work well together. So everyone have a great rest of your night if it's nighttime for you. And thank you for watching. Bye.